Hello everybody! After some experience I have recognized I haven't covered in this course a very important topic which is related to the data wrangling. So I would like or I should share with you a very very important pre-processing activity when you are preparing the data for the machine learning model and it is the feature scaling. Feature scaling, sometimes called data normalization or standardization, is a method which is used to standardize the range of independent variables or features of data. Since the range of values of raw data varies widely, in some machine learning algorithms, objective function will not work properly without this method. Simply said, by using this method, you will get all numeric data under one common range to avoid that one independent variable with the high values will have greater impact on the output than the other independent variables with the small values. There are several techniques how to use the feature scaling method and I will shortly describe them. Firstly, the mean centering. The mean centering uses the subtracting the mean of the data. It then results in a shift of the data towards the mean. The mean of the transformed data thereafter equals zero. The second technique, called standardization, often called as z-score, is a scaling procedure which results in a zero mean and unit variance of any descriptor variable. For every data value, the mean has to be subtracted and the result is then divided by the standard deviation, as it is depicted by the equation. Rescaling, called min-max normalization, is the simplest method and consists in rescaling the range of features to scale the range in 0 and 1 or minus 1 and 1. Now let's skip to the NIME Analytics platform and let's normalize our data by using the most common min-max scaling method. Please open your project or our project and we will continue with the last node where we will did the pre-processing phase and if I open the table or the output table we can see here for instance the purchasing prices and the selling prices which I would say they have the same range but then we are having volume so the number of pieces and at the end of the table we are having the profit in dollars and the contribution margin in percentage and of course all of those variables have different ranges so now we need to use the data scaler to get them into one common range please go into the manipulation section or just into the node repository and and search for normalizer which is the node which enables us to get all variables the numeric variables into one common range you see when we double click to configure the node already all numerical variables are in the green table in the bottom we are selecting the normalizer so if we want to have a min max normalizer or z score and by the because as i said we will select the min max normalizer we have to select the range so we are selecting 0 and 1 it means all our selected variables so those five columns will have the range between 0 and 1. Now we can of course after execution we can check the node and you see that all those variables are between 0 and 1 but it's better of course to check it in either Excel so we can select the Excel writer node to write the output table we have just created by the normalizer into the Excel and then by using the filters check it but of course better thing is that we will use something directly in the NIME Analytics platform. So my suggestion now is to use the box plot. So I will close this node, I will delete it because as I said it would be too much time consuming. Please go into the notes repository and search for box plot. We will use the simple one, connect to the normalizer, just execute the node because here is nothing to configure and we will do the configuration directly in the output image. So as soon as it will be executed, you see it's quite time consuming again. It takes time.
please open the robust statistic and you see here are all numerical values so the columns with numerical data types and you see the range of is really between 0 and 1 so by the normalizing we really get all those variables into one or under one common range so it is between 0 and 1 we can check that also by using the view of the box plot so it's the same it's saying the same and what we can now do we can compare the data before the normalization and after the normalization so i will connect the second box plot to the node before the normalizer so the last one we did in the previous tutorials let's just somehow shift it here great so the first box plot is before And the second one is after because it's connected to the normalizer node. Now we need to execute this one and then open the output table or the robust statistic or the box plot itself. Okay, so now please open the box plot of the second one. So the box plot after normalization and now the box plot before the normalization. And now we can just have them next to the other and compare and you see it's really different because in the second one so the before normalization you see the really differences between all variables so in our case the profit of usd would really have big influence on the machine learning model whereas the others would have less so we now got all our numeric variables under one common range so we are now avoiding to influence the machine learning model or the prediction to be influenced by the one variable with the huge or higher numerical values than the others. And that's exactly the goal of the data scaling or data normalization. So thank you very much for your attention and I am happy we are having something new here and have a great time with data analyzing and with preparing your data. Bye.